Hello and welcome back to Sheaf Math. In today's lesson, we are going to learn about equations having one, zero, or infinite solutions. Now, most equations, like 99% of the ones you're going to be working on, have one answer. Kind of like this example. I, uh, I'm solving for x, and so I get x is on one side. I um, do the proper equation operations to get that x by itself, and I get x equals 6. One answer, right? Okay. Take a look at this question. If I were to get the x's on one side, I would subtract 2x. Well, what happens? The x's actually eliminate, and I end up with 7 equals negative 17. What do you think about that? Well, this does not make any sense. 7 does not equal negative 17, and so this is not a true statement. Therefore, there is no number in, exist in existence that will work for this equation. It means there are no solutions. Okay, 0. Now let's look at this one. If I were to subtract my 3x from the left and right, my x's go away, but I end up with 9 equals 9. Now, this actually makes sense. 9 does equal 9. But what's with the x's? Why aren't the x's there anymore? Well, what it turns out is that the left side was actually the same as the right side. And so any number in the entire world will work for this, OK? Every number works for this equation. We call it infinite solutions. All right, so here's a quick summary. Most equations have one solution. If the x's cancel out and the equation isn't equal, then there are no solutions. If the x's cancel and the equation is equal, then there are infinite solutions. And we use the little infinite sign. And so there you have it, really quick and easy. Solving equations with one, zero, or infinite solutions. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.